We're in Yellowstone. I'm seeing steam. Oh, oh, oh. It's been 11 days since our trip to the American West started. No hotels, no restaurants, no showers. Though we did swim in an icy lake. We found lots of fossils and cool rocks. I'm collecting a bunch to give to people. Now we're ready to give away our finds while meeting other travelers as COVID abates and we can all leave home without worry. We're actually walking over a massive glob of magma, the Yellowstone caldera, also known as the Yellowstone supervolcano. It's only erupted three times in the last 2.1 million years, but each time has buried forests under feet of ash. Instead of ash, now we get to see amazing geysers, hot springs, mud pots, and fumaroles. Oh, I smell it. Sulfur. West Thumb Geyser Basin was my first geyser basin experience ever, and I couldn't believe what was emerging from the ground. Oh my, oh my gosh, this one's lined with red. Probably be the bacteria. What, what has it been like for you so far? Great. Seeing the hot springs and geysers with Yellowstone Lake sprawling towards the Rocky Mountains, feeling the hot steam, and smelling the sulfur seemed as though the earth was playing with our senses. Set out on a four-day backpacking trip Snowing. to America's largest backcountry geyser basin at Shoshone Lake. We were the only ones there. We also visited the Lone Star Geyser Basin in the upper reaches of the Firehole River, arguably the most interesting river in America. Why? Because the Firehole River winds through four of Yellowstone's geyser basins, three of them being the most active in the world. I think it'll be super cool and fun, and I'm really excited. Contrasting with the solitude in the backcountry and COVID times, hundreds of people gathered to watch Old Faithful erupt. The crowd rose up in waves of excitement as the geyser shot up about 140 feet. <laughs> A ranger said to look for the drop that rained down when Columbus set foot on the America. Wait, I think I see foot. We saw the drop. 500 years is how long Old Faithful's water took to descend towards the magma, heat up, and in the end rise as a plume. We were happy to see people from different states and countries united in enjoying the beauty and spectacle of nature. The cold wind whipped up the steam, pushing the heat towards us and creating waves of hot and cold, like Scandinavian saunas in the snow. Hey, we're at Grand Excelsior Springs, and it's pretty cool. Whoa. Right? You can like see all the way to the bottom there. <laughs> we have our hats cinched. Whoa, I see the orange of Grand Prismatic Spring. Oh my gosh. Whoa! I see all the colors now. I'm in steam. Steam went through me. You're like warm and you're cold. We met people from all over the world as we gave out our fossil and rock finds. So this is petrified, or it could be petrified wood. So we've almost finished the hike up to the 
overlook. Here we are. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Yeah. It's very beautiful. Yeah, she just gave out some petrified wood from the blue forest. Okay, here. Just like seven. Smile. Yeah, like nice. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, that's that's very cool. I have I have no clue about any of those, but yeah. thank you very much. Word of Kaishin. One to Kaishin. Word of Kaishin. Yeah. Have a nice day. Yeah. Okay. You too. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Oh my God, my wife loved this. She's a science teacher. Oh, nice. She's gonna love this. Wow. Yeah, and she's gonna be really appreciative of that. Nice. Thank you so much. Cuties. <laughs> so we're also giving away gifts, so I'd like to give you a gift. And that's you it. found that? Yes. Very nice. For some unknown reason, we decided to stop at a bubbly, stinky mud pit known as Mud Volcano. Oh, it still stinks, even with a mask on. Spewed mud onto the treetops? What? This place doesn't seem as popular as the other areas. Very acidic, mud volcano is as strong as stomach acid. Dragon's, Dragon's mouth, mouth spring. spring. Jinx. <laughs> jinx. Double jinx. I like that Whoa. it has flowers right there. I like that it comes out of a cave. There's definitely a dragon in there, I know it. A uh, bloop, a uh, bloop. They're making all kinds of crazy noises. A uh, bloop. This one's darker. A deeper sound. In Mammoth Hot Springs, we met two other travelers and visited the springs with them. By the end, we were the only ones there. A GoPro? It is. We have the same one. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Check that out. Yeah, where is everybody? Skies are basin at night. Yeah. It's about midnight. We're both tired, but we wanted to do this, both of us, right? Yeah. So, yeah. And we're heading back to Salt Lake City. We're crazy. Crazy. It is crazy. And, uh, I don't know if we should even do it. It's kind of crazy, but here we are. We're the only ones here in the Skyser Basin. Oh, there's like a crater here. crater and there's another crater it's like we're on some foreign planet and there's Sila. Hi. <laughs> Yellowstone's geyser basins were many things to me. Calm, peaceful, serene, crazy and intense. Seeing everyone's faces light up when giving them our fossil gifts was incredible. In our next video, we'll search for wild animals, including wolves and grizzly bears. Dropping on our backpacks, we also visited America's largest backcountry geyser basin and America's Serengeti.